Hi, I'm Tony Polias, and welcome to ilearnthings.com. This is episode three, working with Microsoft Office. What I want to show you today is how to open Microsoft Office documents and how to save to Microsoft Office documents using openoffice.org. Microsoft Office is one of the most common Office suites out there, and you'll often get documents mailed to you or find documents online in the Microsoft Office uh, various formats. This is a Wikipedia article which kind of uh, it goes over some of the file extensions for the newest version of Microsoft Office. As you see here we have uh, Word documents. Uh, you can identify them by uh, because they end in the uh, file extension .docx usually. Uh, older versions of Word would end in the file extension .doc. Uh, with Excel, normally be .xlsx for the new version of uh, Microsoft Excel, or older versions you'll find in the file extension .xls. So what do you do when someone sends you one of these files and you do not do not have Microsoft Office? Well. If you have OpenOffice, which is of course a uh, free and open source um, Office suite, yeah, you can open these documents, you can edit them, and you can save back to the same file format so that you can then send the file back to someone who has only Microsoft Office and they'll be able to view it. So let's go to openoffice.org and I'll show you what to do. Here we have open office and let's say you someone sent you an um, a, a word document and you want to be able to view it just go to open the new document uh, navigate to whatever folder your document is in 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 this case here we have a file called constitution.doc which means that it's a word document we're going to highlight that and open it As you can see here, it uh, opened the document. It's a four column uh, format, uh, which is a little bit unusual, but you can see it preserved most of the formatting. Uh, sometimes it's something you have to watch out for. Uh, complicated formatting, especially with headers, images, uh, anything out of the ordinary might not translate precisely. Uh, so I would recommend uh, making sure that you verify any formatting before you actually print it. Uh, make sure that it is what it is supposed to be uh, and sometimes that can be very hard especially if you don't have Microsoft Office to check it with. Um, most of the time you're going to just be writing the text uh, maybe some very basic formatting like bold, uh, title, uh, sections, um, things like that so that won't be a problem. Uh, the tricky part usually is only when you do something out of the ordinary. So here we have a Microsoft Office document and as you can see uh, it's fully editable so we can change this, uh, change the text any way we want, uh, we can edit it uh, and we can then save it. We go into file and save. Now when you try to save a document that was in the .doc uh, file format or in the Microsoft Word file format, it's going to ask you whether you want to keep it in the current file format or you want to save it as an ODF file which stands for Open Document Format which is an open standard supported by OpenOffice.org. If you're going to send this document to someone who only has Microsoft Office, I would recommend keeping it in the .doc format. Uh, if it's something just for your own use and you have openoffice.org, you can also save it in the ODF format uh, to make sure that it's compatible with future versions of OpenOffice or any other program that supports that file format. Uh, here we're just going to keep it in the same .doc format, so just click on Keep Current Format. And it saved the document. Now what if you have a open office document and you need to send it to someone who only has Microsoft uh, Word. Well you could tell them that openoffice.org is free and they could download it but another option available to you is to save it in the .doc format for Microsoft Word and they'll be able to open it and shouldn't, ha shouldn't 
uh, have any issues or be able to tell that you created it in openoffice.org. Um, so the way you do that is open your open office file. So we're going to go to file and open and navigate to the constitution.odt file. Uh, this is the same file in the open office file format. You can see the text is a little smaller, so we can select select to change the text size to whatever we want. We'll say maybe 12 points. And, and let's say, okay, we've done all the changes that we want to do. Let's save it in a Microsoft a word file format. So go to file and save as, I'm sorry, not save, but save as. If you just hit save, it's going to save in the same exact file that you already have opened. If you click on save as, you'll be able to change the file format. Uh, right here in the dialog menu where it says file type, uh, currently is set to ODF, which is the openoffice.org standard. So click on that and you'll see a, a variety of different options that you can save in. Uh, right down here, there's a couple different options for Microsoft Word because this is a uh, Word-like document. The most recent, ver recent version of Word supported here is uh, 97 or XP, which is uh, actually Word 2003. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and select that, and as you can see, it's a .doc file extension. Uh, you can just give your document a name, so we'll say Constitution Converted to Word. And save that. Now, again, this dialog is going to pop up because we changed the file format from uh, ODF to .doc. It's going to ask us whether we in fact want to keep it as a .doc or convert it back to ODF. Uh, because the purpose of this particular exercise was to convert an openoffice.org document into a Microsoft Word format document, we want to keep the current format. As you can see up here in the title bar, it the file that this particular file that we saved has a .doc extension. So uh, your friends or coworkers, whoever you're going to send this file to, who only has Microsoft Office, they will be able to open it without any trouble. Well, that's it for this episode, and thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.